This year's observance of Francophonie Day was held under the theme, The Francophonie of the Future. To put the spotlight on the organization's support for the youth and its aspirations, especially in the fields of entrepreneurship, digital technology, and the environment. In order to highlight the important role of the youth in national development, the Office of the National Correspondent for the Francophonie within the National Commission for UNESCO, along with the National Youth Council, held a youth leadership workshop at the Bay Gardens Resort on Saturday, March 19, 2022. Secretary General of the National Commission for UNESCO, Marcia Symphorian, says the workshop targeted members of the National Youth Council as well as District Youth and Sports Council leaders as part of a wider Francophonie outreach that seeks to build the capacity of the region's youth in civic engagement and action in favor of sustainable development. It is consistent with the organization's efforts at supporting youth development and active participation in nation building and national development. I am truly pleased for this collaboration and I want to say a big thank you to the executive of the NYC, especially Ms. Anya Edwin, President, for her hard work and determination in hosting this training workshop in spite of the many challenges associated with COVID-19. <laughs> the thematic areas addressed by the workshop are critical for the growth of the NYC and the District Youth and Sports Councils and as well for you as youth leaders. President of the National Youth Council, Anya Edwin, while thanking the Office of the National Correspondent for the Francophonie for helping host the initiative, says she sees the exercise as a start of important training for the various youth and sports councils on the island. The evolution of youth development in St. Lucia is a thing, and we could notice the continuity in the persons who are pretty much starting to be groomed or being groomed now to take over from the leaders who are making their way out from the structural youth development movement. So I'm hoping that most of you will remain committed to the true goal of youth development in St. Lucia and don't be like most who would join the sessions or join the organizations to just build on their resume and not give back to our, our young people. Participants also expressed their profound gratitude to the organizers of the workshop and pledged their commitment to youth development within their communities. I must say that the knowledge shared here will definitely go a long way and it will assist our district youth and sports councils in reaching our young people and catering to their needs. What also stuck with me was the GIS formation and having mentioned that, I reflected on the relationships that they also have in life, in that they practice social monogamy, and that is lifelong partnerships. Other activities organized for the occasion included the hosting of Francophonie activities in primary and secondary schools on Monday, March 21st, and the annual Francophonie poetry and poster competitions. The winners of the Francophonie schools competitions will be awarded their prizes at a ceremony to be held on March 31st, 2022. The ceremony will mark the official close of Francophonie Month for 2022. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.